I'm about to Mick fucking lose it. I'm about. I am I am about to lose my goddamn mind. But also look a cat. <laughs> look at the cat. There's actually somebody in the bed. <laughs> That's Gracie. Uh oh, God, um <laughs> Yeah, she blends in. Please have the blurps work. Are the blurps? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I'm I'm having a time. Do are the cheers gonna work? Are the cheers gonna work? <laughs> How about we all just lay down and have a nap? <laughs> we'll just We'll all just lay down. <laughs> I'm that I'm that video of the girl on the beach of the child that's just like I want to have a nap. I want to have a nap. That's me right now. <laughs> but we have a cat. Oh, hold on. Let's have a mick fucking nap. Oh, it's my internet. That's why. Great. We love it. Guys, I don't know what's happening with my internet. I am very, <laughs> I am very red. Uh... Here comes oh. the boy. Hello, boy. Welcome. Here he comes. There he is. Here comes the boy. It worked. Uh, also, thank you, Alexo, and happy birthday, Alexo. Happy, happy birthday. Uh, video quality is better than last week. Was video quality bad? Oh, no. <laughs> um, I also, I don't know, Dandy, if it was you or someone was like, you should add the audio that's like, my boy, father help. And that, that should be there. Um, I did add that one. But yes, I'm red. Um, <laughs> so... So this is what happens when you spend two hours in a convertible and didn't put sunscreen on. Hey! That's my boy. <laughs> no, my boy. Father help. Father help. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I also there. Um, it's really it's a really fun shape because of the seat belt. Um, this arm isn't as bad because obviously I was sitting here. Uh, <laughs> JJ, yeah. No, I have been, yeah, in the nose, the forehead. Um, I have been, I have a bottle of, uh, I saw, I have a bottle of like aloe and lidocaine in my freezer, not freezer, my fridge, that I've just been. I think that's what it is, uh, Dandy, actually. I think it is from Ocean Potion. Hold on, let me go grab it. It's the blue. This stuff. Um, it's amazing. It's aloe and lidocaine. So it's so fucking good. I, yeah, I, every summer I have to get a bottle. I try to be really, really cognizant of my, um, son like uh, I just got distracted again. What I was saying when I was muted earlier is that I have a spider web somehow wrapped in my mic. Anyway, I really try to be cognizant of my sun exposure. I try really hard to wear a lot of sunscreen. My um mom had 
skin cancer uh like five years ago um it she had a um bump we'll tell this story you know i'm gonna put it on just chatting for a bit mostly because i don't know what my internet's doing and if it keeps like blinking on and off we'll see if if things happen Okay, yes, I updated my info. Can you please go away so then I can also... Okay, I guess I'm just... No, all right. Well, won't let me change the title. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I get it, OBS. I changed the I changed the, the, the thing, but let me change the title, too. Oh. Hold on. Chatting. And maybe the glory question mark right. hi astro i almost said good morning and all i did was take a 15 minute nap oh your brain's fried mine too but in a literal sense of the fact that <laughs> son um but yeah so as i was saying my mom had a bump like right here on her face and it just kind of it looked like like a cyst in the way that it was just skin covered and like there was maybe so like something under there and she didn't think anything of it i'm gonna be keeping this on my arm right now <laughs> she didn't think anything of it and thought you know oh it's just a cyst it's not that big of a deal and then it started growing um and eventually she was going to the dermatologist for another issue and just brought it up and the dermatologist was like oh it doesn't look like that bad um like it looks like you know just what everyone's saying is just a cyst um you know they offered to remove it and she was like no we'll just deal with this other thing first and then it got a little bigger so she finally was like yeah let's get it removed and the dermatologist was like cool cool snip snip off it came um and she was like you know it's probably just not that big of a deal like whatever and then like a week or so later my mom got a call and the doc the dermatologist was like so we're sending you to boston because that was cancer um and she thank god the dermatologist actually checked the growth because she said that it the way that it presented a lot of dermatologists would probably not have even tested it because it presented as something completely benign. Thank God she did. Um, we ended up going to uh, Brigham Women's um, and it was like super far into the development. I can't remember. I, I can't remember the name of it. It's a very rare type of melanoma. Um, thankfully it hadn't spread anywhere. She got a lot of testing done. Uh, the original surgery to get it removed, um, basically took everything. They did end up going back in and taking out, I'm trying to remember which side it would be this side, taking out more, um, just to be sure. And she had to get some, uh, some plastic surgery done. But, uh, and then she had to go through radiation. We actually ended up living in Boston for like a month, her and I. Um, and like, thankfully, because of all the testing they did, they actually found uh, precancerous cells in her breast as well. So like now she's on like a good like watch, like she's okay, she's fine. But she's on the track of just like being watched and monitored and stuff. Um, but yeah, so thank God, knock on plastic wood whatever the fake wood is like the worst that because she could have lost her eye like you know she, it could have spread like it was a it was scary um but the worst that happened was she just got um her tear ducts on this side got fried from the radiation um but yeah so particle board and sawdust basically so yeah i've i've and yeah as i burn real good so that's why I try to be real, like, I try to be real good about that. Where are you going? You don't, you didn't like that? You leaving? 
You're not a fan? Okay. She's like, you're boring. I'm leaving. Um, But yeah, so I was dumb and just apparently thought, I'm in a car. I don't need sunscreen. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> it hurts so bad. I'm going to put some lotion on while we're here. Yeah, um, very fair. I think, Marty, you would ask if I tan. Uh, it will turn into a tan, probably. Hi, Sheila! Um, <laughs> but, uh, I, I just burn. I just burn. And it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you asked your corner, Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> The worst burn I got one year was, I think I was at the ocean when I was a child. And, you know, that was back then. Loud alert. Uh-oh. <laughs> Might have to stay loud. <laughs> um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um, I uh, was at the ocean. And got so hey! badly burned. I am turning the Discord uh, desktop audio down a little. I got so badly burned it blistered. And I actually, I don't know. You might be able to tell. Yes, Twitch, that's my bra strap. All of this, like, freckling that's kind of one big, like, patch of brown was all from that. Um... Yeah, I'm surprised. I've had a few moles removed. Um, There's one on my leg that was removed. One on my arm. Somewhere got removed. Um, yeah, they don't turn into tans. Your skin's just dead. <laughs> like, I'll tan. Like, it will become less red. But, yeah. No, I'm very much like... I know, because, like, you know, you hear all these things about, like, how to treat depression and i also have like psoriasis and stuff and people are like oh you should get like a tanning bed and i'm like sure i'll just jump in the cancer machine <laughs> maybe i'll have better less psoriasis skin but you know just get that cancer uh i saw dandy uh i is this a squish mellow it's definitely pusheen I think it might be a, a squishmallow. Um, it's it's. Did I don't know if Pusheen and Squishmallow had a like collaboration, but if it helps, I got it at Claire's. <laughs> it was on sale. I, it was when I went to go. Um, it was when I went to get this for the butt stallion costume and i was like oh claire says tiaras and then i found that and i was like i want that too <laughs> have you seen my audition with some lady gets fried right i don't want that i don't want that uh, also i just like being pale i hate the summer i hate i hate the summer i hate heat i die i sweat it's awful it's terrible um so funny story um the summer that uh the summer that europe was like basically on fire even though i think ever since then they've continually been on fire but the really big like first heat wave that happened a few years ago i was there um and europe is not made for well like i guess upper europe is not made for the heat um and the buildings are made to contain heat not make heat escape and they don't know what air conditioning is <laughs> and i almost died <laughs> i was uh i decided to be brave and go out on a day that i probably shouldn't have but it's like oh well it's probably the safe temperature as inside than outside um, and I was on the bus just sweating. Like, when I say sweating, I mean that gif of Jordan Peele 
where it's like the nervous gif and the water is just like pouring off of his face. Like that's me when it gets really bad. And that was me on this bus in the Netherlands, like in like a little sundress and just dying. And these two, <laughs> these two women, I was, it looked like mother and daughter um, were sitting. So I was like sitting in the seat that kind of faces like sideways in the bus and they were facing like the actual way. So they were kind of next to me. And they were chatting, and I could tell, like, they kept looking at me. But I don't speak Dutch, so I don't know what they were saying. And eventually my ex uh, said something to them in Dutch, and I was like, well, we're having a conversation now. Um, and he turned to me, and he was like, they want to they want to know if you're dying. Like, they want to know that you're okay. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, no, I'm okay. I just, this is what happens. And the lady was like, oh, she speaks English. And she was like, do you need water? Like, can we do something for you? I have water. Like, are you going to, do we need to call someone? And I'm like, no, I'm fine. I swear. I'm good. I'm just dying. That's me in the heat. But it was really sweet of these two ladies that were like, please let us save you from whatever, like, sweat exorcism that's happening to you. <sighs> I don't. I don't do heat. Uh, someone said aloe. I asked about Astro. I think it was aloe. Um, my, the aloe is helping. How nice of them to be there with you in your final moments, right? It's like, do you got a pen and paper? Can I write my will? That's what I need. Uh, also, yeah, Sheila, I would absolutely cold. Because here's my thing, right? When you're cold, there are more things that you can do to get warmer you can put on layers, you can, you know, there's, like, ways to help with the cold. To a point. To a point. With the heat, there's only so much you can remove. <laughs> there's only so much you can remove. And then you're just down to your fucking skin. Do you prefer the winter easier to sleep in? Yep. That's why I sleep with my air conditioner. And... No! Night bot. Sheila, you didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Sheila, you didn't do anything wrong. It just thought that you did a cuz you did peel dot off like instead of a space. It thought that you did a bad. What am I supposed to do when it gets hot peel off my skin? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Be gay do crimes. Be gay post links. Um <laughs> I love that soul. I can put on more clothes than I can legally take off. Ah, Feral. I, so I've never done the parasol. I do love them. They're nice. But um, for a while, I had like a pretty like fun, lacy kind of fan type situation. So I'd whip that out, fan myself off. That's handy. But, oh, And I feel... <laughs> I feel bad because my boyfriend, my boyfriend, um, is learning just how intolerant of the heat that I am, and the fact that, like, in my room, like I said, I have my AC, and then I have my fan, and he was hanging out with me here. Uh, yeah, dandy boyfriend, dandy dandy boyfriend, dandy boyfriend. Um, and he, poor thing, was very cold. <laughs> and I kept being like, do you want a blanket? Do you want, like, I can turn the AC down? Do you, do you, can I help? <laughs> Open up and door combust. Yeah, that's me. Um, he's learning how much of an introvert you are. <laughs> Thankfully, he's also an introvert, so. So it's good. But yeah, I have a boyfriend. I don't, he might be watching, and this might be, let me see, I'm looking at the, no, he's not watching right now. He is, Fridays, uh, I'm going to start giving away information, here we go, Fridays, he's, uh, he plays a D&D &D game. But, yeah. <laughs> I just see this thing as a walking freezer, can I nap there? Would. Would. I, the only thing that got me through that, um... Oh no, are we buffing? Are we buffing? Um the only thing that got me through that heat wave in Europe 
was covering myself in like those ice packs that you put in lunch like your lunches lunch boxes and eating popsicles that was the only thing that that i how like i survived um okay some buffer no buffer just keep talking we'll see if i'm at like 27 percent drop frames which isn't the worst but he's an introvert who likes outdoors what kind of creature is he a cute one <laughs> I'm very much into nerds. Um, does he know the void bites? Uh, he's learning. He is learning. He it's really cute because um after streams uh like the pirate stream, the last pirate stream when y'all were doing the who runs the uh ship aground thing, he uh, found that incredibly hilarious and messaged me and he was like what kind of idiot runs his ship aground and then for a couple of days he's had the um he's had the the <laughs> welcome here he comes there he is he comes the boy <laughs> stuck in his head oh yeah no he's been he's been watching since been watching for a bit he's been watching since the uh stream before i wore like the otter onesie get him to watch our flag means death wait this must have been before that he's been watching for a couple weeks now since we started talking he's been watching i alexo i have actually been thinking i might want to watch that with him so then i also will watch it too Gotham, maybe Gotham. I don't know if he would be into Gotham. I'll have to ask. Um, I take it he's been watching the VOD and is not lurking in chat. No, he's lurking. <laughs> he lurks basically every stream, except when Fridays, the first couple of Fridays, he uh, didn't have the D&D game, so he was watching. Um, but, yeah. Um, <laughs> he's cute. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, we, uh, I went to the movies for the first time since COVID. Um, I, we went to go see Thor, which was fun. What's, uh, okay. <laughs> Vance, it's funny that you asked that because he immediately texted me last stream at the end of last stream and said, I don't mind peas and mac and cheese. I was like, yes. He's a keeper. But he did, which, Sugar, I did see your, your message, because he also made the, um, he also made the, oh my god, words. He also said that they had to be frozen peas and not canned peas. So, I lost out there. But, um... What's his thoughts on raisins? Actually, I don't know that. I don't. I we have not talked raisins. We should. Um, also, uh, JJ, I don't because he plays two D and D games. He's gonna be like, "Why are you talking about me so much?" If he ever finds out, just between just between us guys, between us and the other people that watch. <laughs> Do they still get frozen? No, no, no. You, you'd make the peas unfrozen and then add them in. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I don't. So he plays two D and D games. One's in person. One's online. Can't. I know in one of. In one of his games, he's like a gunslinger elf. I don't remember what the other game is though. I don't think I have asked yet. I think we've talked about that one. And I've been meaning to ask what the other character is. Um, and I might have actually. You guys know how my memory is. It's fucking awful. Um, I just got really distracted because of a light. Roll a dexterity saving throw. But I do remember gunslinging elf because I went, that sounds really fun. Oh, wait. Gunslinging elf who is a private investigator. 
that's <laughs> about as far as my memory goes. <laughs> I know between all of us and me later when I watch the VOD. Um, which team is he? Pain Baby or Soppy Lad? I haven't asked him. Hold on. He's probably playing. I don't know if he can... I should message him. I will ask him report back. I haven't asked that one yet. I should ask him. I should ask him. Okay. We're just going to say chat. I want to know if you are more of a pain baby or a soppy lad. And yes, I am talking about you. There we go. All right. All right. I just turned my stream on so y'all just heard me beat myself. He's going to have no clue what this means. True. Um, I don't, I looked in the list. I don't see him lurking. I don't think he lurks when he plays. Um, eh, thank you, Astro. I like him. He's cute. If you want to see a photo of him, I posted a photo of him and I on my Twitter. Um, he was a really good sport about it. I was like, can we take a photo so I can put it on Twitter and brag about you? And he was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> like, yeah. Mm. My drop frames are going up. Son of a bitch. I don't know if we're going to get to the quarry today. Also, thanks. I like that photo, too. I'll let you guys know. I'll report back when he when he talks. When he answers. If he gets to it. Um. Oh. But yes, he, uh, he finds me fascinating, which is fun. I find him fascinating, too. He works at a a board game shop which i find adorable um he sells games and cute things and collectible cards and stuff and and we've been playing tiny tinas and if y'all don't shut me up i will continue to talk <laughs> he is a nerd he's like us he's like us i was i was yeah the the sunburn happened today thankfully i did not get burnt yesterday. You know, the my mom was like, our car's been in the shop and um uh my mom and I usually spend Friday mornings together and so we took the convertible, which sounds far more like luxurious than <laughs> than it really is. We are not that kind of people. Um this is just a car that my mom's fiance happened to inherit and it is kind of, excuse me, it's kind of busted, but it's fun to take out and drive around without the top on. Yeah. Showing them convertible titties. And then I got burned. <laughs> so really it wasn't worth it. How many collector's editions of Monopoly they got? Haven't seen any, but they do have one of those Star Trek chess sets that looks like the, the chess set in Star Trek. And the only reason I am aware of it is because uh, my friend uh, Evan and I went in there. <laughs> so, so Evan could meet him and Evan was like, oh my God, the Star Trek chess set. And I went, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Uh, he's, he's, he's team soppy lad. So it's official. <laughs> uh, the, the boyfriend is officially team, team soppy lad. Everyone check your discords. <laughs> so he baby. <laughs> Uh, 
Check Discord again. Oh, he's saying he's gonna have to go back and watch the VOD. <laughs> um. Yep. Yep, yep. We very much fit that, uh, bisexual girl and oh no uh, he's hot <laughs> we we fit that bisexual girl with the golden retriever gamer boyfriend stereotype board game shop if he's ever looking for a game a game that's been really popular with my friends has been deep sea adventure it's pretty simple when you get the hang of it but a lot of people have mentioned Ooh, you know what this means bringing out the book We'll use the pineapple man. Um, he did play, oh, he wants to play a game with me that he has, that he hasn't had a chance to yet called. Epic tiny dungeons? Tiny epic dungeons? Epic. Epic tiny dungeon tiny. Epic. Check your Discord. Tiny dungeon. Yes, tiny epic dungeons. Which is supposed to be like a contained sort of two people D&D &D game. And it looks really cute. Well, I mean, you could, I think you can. It's like two to four people. Um, it's basically like a dungeon crawler kind of situation. It looks adorable. Um, so we have that lined up to play. Um, have you got him into Star Duty yet? No, not yet. But we have been playing Tiny Tina's. Um, because he was playing it and then I mentioned Lane and I um, had played and that I had been wanting to go back. And he was like, well, let's go up. And I was like, yeah, I know. Let's play. And so he's been... Um, he has been helping me find all the collectibles because I suck at it. <laughs> and he's been giving me all the cosmetics that he doesn't need anymore, which is really nice. <laughs> he's basically just carrying me through the game. Have you met the New Zealand Cyclops in that game yet? No. What are his PC specs? I assume they were on his dating profile. Uh... Hold on, sorry. He had to. Um. Ooh, Killer Queen. Also, you can, Alexa. I, I have been checking it. I think it's that. But let me also write that down. Um. There's a Cyclops in Oasis level that's stuck in a wall. You were very close, Dandy. I'll just write it down just in case here. Team game, but then I'll say Xbox. So I know it's a different game. I'm going to type Sea of Thieves again. We are going to play more Sea of Thieves next week. Um, and we're also having a community day. I think we're playing Jackbox is what we decided. Um, What was I saying? Oh, his PC specs. Don't know. I know he built it. And it looks nice. Um... But I have no idea what this because I don't know anything. He sat. He did. Uh, he did let me uh, show him how like how to run a stream, and he sat through me showing him my Fortnite skins. <laughs> He's very patient with me, <laughs> and it's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah like i said if i just i'll just keep talking i'll just keep talking because <laughs> damage is tabletop yeah, yeah 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 that's yeah after i figured it was a board game board game 
You must be traumatized from the vivid colors in pop culture. No, he, well, so apparently, like, he was aware of Fortnite in the beginning. And had, like, kind of looked into it. And watching me play and play on stream has kind of piqued his interest. And he said maybe it possibly I could walk him through, which would be exciting. <laughs> Make someone else addicted to Fortnite so they can play with me. Um soon as I have hoard enough for Disney, I'm coming for those GPUs again. The crypto crashes made them available. Right? I um I saw there was uh there was like a picture on Twitter of like a case of GPUs and someone did like the the GPUs are back. Crypto is dying. Nature is healing. <laughs> How did he feel about Kansas James? He thought it was hilarious. Um he's like I don't understand it, but it's funny. <laughs> I was like, let me tell you. Let me tell you the lore. Um, I also had to walk him through uh, wet-ass buns um, to explain why the continued food outrage was hilarious. Um, he's slowly learning the void lore. Uh, there is so much lore. There. Ah, he doesn't even know about Culver's Man yet. Another banana men's. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little sad because I don't get to see him again until Tuesday. He has so much to learn. He does. Does he understand the concept of drinking food? Not yet. That's I. That's another question I have to ask him. If if he thinks, uh, if you aren't chewing your food, that you. You don't have to, that you're, yeah, if no true, it drink. Does he know about Jimmy? Do I know about Jimmy? <laughs> I think I do, but uh, I don't remember. What's Jimmy again? Please tell us, tell me our own lore. I am like, uh, I am like George R. R. Martin, and I need my own void wiki to keep track of everything. He did learn about Debbie. I forced him to watch the TikToks I've made because that's the kind of person I am. But he, again, very patient with me and watched them and seemed to enjoy them. <laughs> um, how does he feel about the classic animated film, The Brave Little Toaster? <laughs> that I don't know. I'm going to have to ask him all these questions and report back. Is he aware of the defund Wolfie? He is. He is aware of that. Oh yeah, Jimmy's is the Culver's man. I forgot we named him. Didn't didn't we also give him a didn't we also give him a boyfriend? How do we have so many memes? Uh he does understand it's women's because he saw the he saw the TikTok that I made. <laughs> The Vagina Monsters and Gears of War are called Richie's. I haven't explained that. I did talk a little bit about... Like, we kind of went through some of the past games. A little bit. And I mentioned... Or at least I mentioned that I've played Gears. Um, there, yeah. There's a, there's a lot... There's a lot of void lore. A lot of vor. <laughs> <laughs> so much for <laughs> I can't stand me sometimes Jimmy is parallel to Kansas James where the void takes a character and beats them to a pulp with contributed lore yep our lore shall henceforth be called Boar. Hail the Boar. Ah, oh, praise be to Boar. <laughs> oh, shit. Internet, are you doing okay? We're up to 30% drop frames. Son of a bitch. It gets, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. So if... Because of because of how I'm doing, and my brain's fried, I'm fried. 
I probably will just continue chatting for a little bit longer. Maybe call it a night. Um, if you guys are, and then Sunday, as long as it's not, I know skulls sometimes waffles between a Saturday and a Sunday. Sunday, I will do a actual quarry stream. Um, because, uh, I want to play quarry. I just don't want to play it and have the internet continue to be a little shithead. Um, well, what happened to Wolfie's stream? Ah, yes, the invisible Pokemon stream. Ugh. <laughs> oh. I love you guys. You're so understanding. You guys are the best. Um, but yeah, I, I, what else can I talk about? What else can I say? What else can I do? Ah, uh, procrastinate packing. That's my... That is my life, basically. I still have... I still have boxes in my closet that I need to unpack from when I was packing to move overseas. And I've just left them in my closet. Because it was just, like, stuff like odds and like things that like I wanted to have but didn't like impact my life if I don't have them accessible um like I think there's a lot of books and like stuff like that but like they're just taking up closet space right now hell yeah slime rancher and <gasps> dandy I saw you um being excited uh in chat about the sexuality and uh, things that they the update that they're adding an eye to am very excited about that I saw them post that I believe it was today I don't know if it was announced today but I saw a post about it today hell yeah sims Marty I wish I didn't know how to procra 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 procrastinate that's a word that's a word I can say procrastinate there's gonna be slime sexuality I did I not say in the sims I could very well have had a uh, train of thought collide and talk about Slime Rancher and then immediately go into talking about sexualities and not mention, not differentiate the fact that I meant to say that it was in The Sims. <laughs> That's just how my brain works. I just go from one train of thought to the other and sometimes they just stick together. Um, yeah, yeah, hope y'all have had a good week. It's been a good week. It's been, it's been, um, my pen just, <laughs> hold on, there we go. Um, speaking of songs. Did y'all hear Owl City did a cover of um, All Star? <laughs> I had to look this up again. Uh, so if you don't remember Owl City, they were the like, could not believe my eyes. Ten million butterflies. No, fireflies. Eight thousand but fireflies. Something about the fireflies. Um, but they did a remix <laughs> in this, the year of our Lord, or I guess a cover remix, uh, in the year of our Lord 2022. You know, the song everyone's been craving to hear is Owl City. Uh, hold on. Is this it? I won't play too much of it because YMCA, but. <laughs> Somebody oh, this is just All Star. This is not Owl City. Where's the Owl City one? Hold on. Apparently, it's just a remix. It's not a cover. It's just a remix. But still. But but still, they put the Owl City spin on it, and apparently, this was this was what's hip. 
I don't know. I don't know what's hip anymore. Um. Yeah. I'm trying to. What does it say? Um. Yeah. So that was a thing. That was a thing. My nose is all. Um. Hip. <laughs> my laptop for a bit. Okay. Hello, Sugar's Alt. <laughs> Thank you, Alexa, for the gifted sub to Sugar. Or Sugar's Alt, I should say. Um... Yeah, I don't, I guess, like, maybe Owl City was like, I'm going to try to, or them, the, the the group. I don't know if Owl City is just a person, like, the weekend, or if it's a group of people. But, um, they're like, we're going to, we're going to ride, we're going to ride that wave of the memification. And it's like, you're a little too late. <laughs> Especially since Smash Mouth basically got, like, canceled to oblivion um, because of that really fucking terrible lead singer who like went on an awful drunk rant at some like wine fest or something that happened vague memory spot if i recommended me a smash mouth cover of never gonna give you up <laughs> that is pretty weird um wow but... you can really dance wow you can really dance he went he went. <laughs> uh, yeah, apparently some TikTok uh, or person that had a TikTok account uh, was at like some like wine festival and Smash Mouth was there to perform and uh, the lead singer was like super, super drunk and I guess has like an alcohol problem. So that wasn't behavior that was new. Um, but he said some like pretty fucking terrible things and i think at one point did the old uh bad world war ii salute um and also like just was not competent <laughs> at all yeah he was belligerently drunk um so people are like well Whoopsie. Uh, thank you, Alexo, for the gift of Sub to Dandy. Some folks do be needing a canceling. It's true. Some folks need more than a canceling. Some folks just need to be, you know, completely erased. <laughs> what? I didn't say that. I didn't say anything. Um,. Yeah, uh, so we have this, like, um, we have this festival that happens in my county called the Lobster Festival, because, well, it's Maine, and I do, Smash Mouth did perform there once, and I didn't, I didn't go, mostly because that's just not, not my thing, um, but it would have been kind of funny just for the memification, but now that all that stuff's come out. Not anymore, but, it, you know, it would have been funny. It would have been funny. I'm actually, I think I'm going to try to go to a to a festival this year. Not, well, like, when I say festival, I mean, like, one of our, like, silly 4-H, like, fairs that we have that are adorable and cute. And, like, the little kids bring out their cows and the cows are all, like, clean and washed. And, you know, they, like, parade them around and everyone goes, oh, look, a cow! And... It's fun. And then, like, you get to go to, like, the booth with the tractors. And then you get to, like, have a... A badoop. I... Yeah. <laughs> Everyone check JJ's Discord. <laughs> it wasn't me that time. Um, and then you get to go and you get your cotton candy. And then you can pet a goat. You know, those. I want to go to one. I haven't because... COVID still scares me, but I'm trying. There usually is a tractor pull. Um, 
I've never watched a tractor pull, so there's this one festival I really like to go to called the Windsor Fair, and it's like the big one kind of in clo- that's closer to me. Um, and they have like the whole 4-H program that you get to go, and you get to go see people with their, like I said, little kids with their cows, and like I actually watched one of the like <laughs> cow judging contests. Still don't understand. I don't understand, like, what they're looking for to judge these cows. Um, But it was fun to sit there and, like, watch the cows go around. And, like, one cow was being a little, like, I don't want to. I don't want to move. And, you know, was, like, yelling a little. Um, And that that was cool. But I did get to... They did... um, barrel racing one year with horses so I got to go see that and that was like that was like the self came to Maine that day and it was very weird (laughs) I had a bit of culture shock of like seeing a bunch of people in in cowboy attire with a lot of spangles and there was this whole thing where like they sang like the national or like someone came out in like full uh Dolly Parton glitzy cowgirl attire and sang the national anthem while people were on their horses with like flags and like I was like I don't understand <laughs> this feels like a cult but then the horses came out and ran around barrels and it was really exciting <laughs> also like apparently there's a trend to um to put like it's like I don't even know if it's a real brand or not but it's like on the horse's rump to do your little symbol or whatever but like in glitter (laughs) it was very glitzy and like I love glitter but I don't understand it but it's cool all right you go glitter horse it's like a fucking cutie mark on a my little pony (laughs) a rodeo can break out anywhere at any moment you're never safe yeah, it was like a stamp of glitter. Um, the horses are cool. And then, uh, what else have I done there before? Um, oh, that's also where there's always this vendor that has donuts that are literally like this big and fucking thick. Um, and so I always go and get their cinnamon sugar donuts because they're incredible. Uh, and, One time I, when I was eating, I grabbed like lunch or whatever when I was there and I went into a tent that had like tables and there was just an old guy playing spoons. (laughs) It's just an old man. I guess he was the tent entertainment, but he was just playing his spoons. And I was like, you go old man. We should forsake signatures and go back to cattle sign. I just want to. I want a signet ring. I want to do the thing with do it like that. That was badass. Like Prince. Fun fact that I know about that, uh, about the whole Prince symbol thing, was that um, as part of him turning himself into a, like a symbol, um, his like team sent out floppy disks to like all of like the magazines and newspapers and stuff with just like the symbol on the floppy disk so if they ever printed an article they had that symbol ready (laughs) i wonder if anyone still has them and if so like how much it would go for for our state fair we had tractor demolition derby that's cool i've always wanted to go to a demolition derby They, they sound like a raucously redneck kind of fun time um yeah what else does this fair do they usually have the animals that you can go and pet that's always fun um there's always at least like one pig with a thousand baby piglets um Heard a story with someone who was working trying to be inclusive but got the trans symbol confused with princes. Oh no. (laughs) Oh. 
kind of funny. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, it's fair season. And, yep. I'm running out of things to talk about. <laughs> Quick AMA, anyone want to ask me a question? I'm going to blow my nose first. Hey, Marty, second account. You do, JJ, and I appreciate that about you. We're very similar in that way because I love to learn random ass shit, especially about people. And I will ask just any, I will be like, hey, here's a question for you. One of the prints Floppy just sold at auction for, auction for 52K. Holy shit. That's insane. Prob's gonna miss my hometown's county fair, but hope to catch the Freiburg. It's not the Freiburg that I was talking about, because Freiburg's still a good, like, two hours from me. This one isn't as big, but has kind of that similar feel. Um, it's in Windsor. I've been to Freiburg. I've been to the Freiburg fair once. And it was so... So, like... When you're a kid, right, and you're told, oh, we're going to go to, like, the fair, and you're like, oh, the fair, like, cotton candy, uh, fried foods, all the beverages that are bad for you, sugar, rides, like, fairway, fun, maybe I'll waste money trying to get a giant stuffed animal. I went to the fair because my grandfather was a Shriner. And he was in the in the parade. And I was there for all, the parade and then we left. <laughs> and it was the most disappointing fair experience of my life. <laughs> I remember walking by the carousel and like looking at him. My grandmother goes, you're not going on any rides today. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, no, we did go before the parade started. We... <laughs> We did go through, like, this museum that they had of, like, look at this old-fashioned farm equipment. <laughs> Everything a kid's ever wanted. <laughs> I do love my grandparents, though. They're great. Great people. <laughs> Thank you, JJ. <laughs> it wasn't. It was not fair. The carriages, that sounds familiar, Astro. It That probably was what it was. It was a really long time ago. Um, but yeah, that's how I, that's how I've been to a lot of places in the state because I would go with my grandparents for uh, my grandfather marching in the parades and stuff. He was not one of the Shriners in the little cars, though. He was a flag, he was a flag Shriner with a little fez. Um... I always, I always wanted to grow up to be one of the little, one of the little Shriner guys in the little car and going, oh, no. or, and I'm very sad, I'm very sad about this. So I don't know how many of you like are familiar with Shriners and are familiar with like the different types of Shriners and stuff like that and in, in the parades and things, but there were a group of Shriners that would do like a cop and robbers type situation and I don't know what happened, but I remember back in my day, back in my day, the robbers would like run around or like they're prisoners. They run around and like hide in the audience and then the cops would come and like, you know, very much promoting police brutality. But as a child, it was hilarious. And they don't do that anymore. <laughs> I just want to see... A man hit another man with an inflatable billy club for my entertainment. That's all I want. <laughs> we should start calling the void a secret society and have our own parade. We should. We need, like, fancy headgear, though. And they already have taken over the fez. Um, maybe they can be cavemen and mammoths. Oh, <gasps> yes. I I would like that also. 
but I don't know why I just thought of this. Also, if you've never witnessed Shriners um, and their terrifying mascot costumes, <laughs> like, oh, helicopter beanie. Okay, we'll take the pyramid hat idea because it fits with our logo and then put a helicopter thingy on it and we'll make it blue for the Culver's hat. Um, this is, this is our hat. <laughs> Make sure you bring it to the next void meeting. Um, oh, let me see. So I still don't know. Um, so for anyone unfamiliar with what Shriners are, um, Shriners are like, they're just dudes in a secret society. It's not really secret so like dude club but the thing that they do is they raise money for um uh children's hospitals and like the shriner specifically shriner children's hospitals which is like it's incredibly important they do a lot of really good stuff um i know they help a lot of burn victims and majority of the time it's all completely free i believe recently because like the shriner numbers have gone down they will I just scratched my arm. They will now like accept your insurance if you have it. Um, because it used to be that they didn't need like it's if you had insurance, it didn't matter, everything for your child would be free. But now they started like doing it just to help like pay the bills. Um, but yeah, so that's what yeah, like the Masons, but they help people basically. Um trying to parade costumes. Um so, they do a lot of fundraising, and one of the, and so they'll be in, like, a lot of parades around the area. I'm looking through Google right now because, oh my god, here's, okay, here's a good example. Um, the thing that's always, um, confused me, though, is there's this one section of Shriners um because each like kind of like each has their own like shtick basically so you get like the shriners in their little like vehicles um they have like the slow vehicles and then they have the shriners in the racing cars and then shriners that are the cops and robbers and then the flag shriners and like the flag unit and then there's the shriner group that drives the little like choo-choo train that they often will sometimes have like um if they have like a patient or like a child that has gone through their hospital sometimes they'll invite them to be like oh you want to come to the parade and sit in the train um but then they have the costumed people and they're always like of characters that you know of but they look like they've <laughs> I always say this, they look like the Wish.com version, and I don't know how they've ever gotten away with um, having, because, like, I don't know why they haven't been slapped with any kind of lawsuit, because you get, like, oh, it's so little. You get shit like this. <laughs> and, like, you can even see the Mickey in the background. But they're always so terrifying looking. <laughs> And I'm trying to find I'm trying to find more. Um the clowns are also rather terrifying as well. Um I guess maybe if I do mascots. Hmm. Hmm. Here's oh my god, this Olaf. Hold on. <laughs> Shrek, but it was a horror movie. I mean, JJ, you say that and you know that Disney would be all over that. Where's the Look at this <laughs> Look at this Olaf. <laughs> it's the Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I 
Dollar Store product left at the back window shield of a car for a couple days. But yeah, just imagine a crew of these coming down the street at you. <laughs> and it's always funny. One of the one of my favorite things is watching the parents be like, "Okay, kids, go give Olaf a hug," and the kids are like, "That's not Olaf, Mom." <laughs> Mom, I don't know what that is. Uh. Oh, oh. Oh, here. Oh. <laughs> I found another good one. They also used to do. Oh, shit. Hold on. Um, They also used to do circuses. I don't know if the Shriners still put on a circus anymore. Um. But you would often see these costumed guys at the circus too. Save. Save. Kit kicks the imposter. Um. Hi, Rebel! Where is this one? There it is. See it? Uh, this is a pretty good group. Whoa! All right. Got another Olaf in it. <laughs> the Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> and fucking Luigi creeping in the corner there. <laughs> Garfield's looking fucking stoned behind Mario. <laughs> but Buzz is having some kind of Vietnam flashback in the background. <laughs> this is a cult photograph if there ever was some Optimo Prime. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Welcome to this. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything. Oh, well, that's okay. <laughs> I just need to share this because the hat situation is hilarious. <laughs> Elmo is the dog in the burning apartment. This is fine. Um, where did I put? So this is Speedy Gonzalez in two hats, I guess, because you can't just have one. <laughs> and a football costume for some reason. <laughs> I just love the hat on the hat. <laughs> oh, man. Oh my god, I found another Shrek. Hold on. Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna, like, go back through Spudnik and be like, why do I have so many photos of these terrifying mascots? This is what happens when I spend too much time in the sun. My brain gets fried. Uh... No, that was the one I just did. There we go. Why the feds with the PSV markings of the Republican Guard? I don't understand. I don't know what the symbols are. I don't. I don't understand. Um. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't understand. Like the whole thing of the like the sword and the thing. I have no idea. Also, his head is the only one I've seen that isn't like a like a stuffed head. It's weirdly sculpted and I don't like it. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what? You know what? So that trick is on a list. Why the fez? Cuz the the fez is the the shriner like accessory. Um 
No, parade's not happening in Iraq. <laughs> Shit, I don't think so. I think it's just Shriner. This, yeah, this is Montana. Montana East West Shrine Game Parade. Um, it's supposed to be Baghdad, Baghdad or Baghdad. I don't know. Let me see if I can find a actual thing of like. Oh, they have an actual like shrine fez, like mascot. He looks better than any other mascot I've seen them do. Shriner fez. So, I'm wondering if it's based on what type of. I don't even know how to like like what Reiner branch you're part of. Why it says that on there? I'm gonna look it up. I will. We're gonna. This is now our, the new thing. We're talking about Shriner fezes. Um, I did find this very uh captivating man with a mustache wearing one. But yeah, so that's like the Shriner attire. You got your fez and. Like, cause I've worn my grandfather's a few times as a, as, it's cause it's funny. And your little tassel, usually you get little like things to add onto it to like, like as some sort of like signifier of different things you've done in your little Shriner cult. I don't, I don't really get it, but, um, so let's look up. What does the Shriner Fez mean? Shriner Fez. Why do Shriners wear a Fez? Fez is one of the most recognizable symbols of Shriners. International was adopted as the Shriners' official headgear in 1872. Uh, the hat represented the Arabian theme the fraternity was founded on. It also serves as an outward symbol of one's membership in the fraternity. So, oh, so apparently the name that we're seeing, what did that dude do to earn that stash? <laughs> um, the name that you're seeing, like how we saw like Baghdad or, or whatnot, is the name of your temple. From what I'm seeing on the, this website where you can order a fez. Single row jeweled fez with your temple name comes with an 18 inch tassel and tassel holder. Uh, price includes your shrine temple name. So, I want to see like. Ooh, you can get different rhinestone types. Oh, you can get a nice stiffener in your fez. <laughs> um. What else can we learn about the Shriner Fez? About the history of Shriners. Okay, Shriner's emblem. The emblem on the front of the Fez, the crescent and the scimitar is an important part of the fraternity's theme and is representative of the characteristics embodied by the Shriners. The scimitar stands for the backbone of the fraternity its members. The two claws are for the Shriners fraternity and its philanthropy. The Sphinx standing for the stands for the governing body of the Shriners. Five-pointed star represents the thousands of children helped by the philanthropy each year. And the emblem also bears the phrase, I'm going to butcher this, Robur et furor, which means strength and fury. So like, so like how college frats appropriate what they want of ancient Greek culture. Yeah, basically. That seems to be that seems to be the way of it. But we learned a bit about f Shriner fezes today. <laughs> um, it's also kept in a pretty neat case, a fancy box. Yep, we all did a learn. We all did a learn. We all looked at some cursed content.
and my arm hurts. <laughs> I'm going to put more aloe on. Don't forget your sunscreen, children, please. And by children, I also mean us adults. <laughs> ah, it's cold. Oh. Does anyone else, did anyone else's, like, anyone else get milk poured on them as a child when you got a sunburn? Or is this just a weird, like, fake memory I have? Because I remember being slathered in milk. I don't know if it ever did anything. <laughs> no, just for fun. Ah, the milkening. <laughs> My sunburn only just finished healing in the last week. <laughs> Man, all right. Apparently this... <laughs> Apparently this might have been a hallucination. No, but I really do. I, I remember being... Having... <laughs> <laughs> You have to come say hi now. Did that help? No, I'm not playing a game. I'm doing a scary game. I'm sunburned and I'm just talking. Oh, your arm. I know. Oh, my hi. Hi. Yeah. hi. I can't. There you go. Boo. Is it? Yeah. Hold on. Are you drunk? <laughs> uh, I'm a little. Wait. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. I'm a little, you're a little drunk. You a little drunk. Who Would are you... we talking to? The chat's right there. Well, how many people? I don't know. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Marty says hi. Hi. Uh, Rebel says hi. Hi. Alexa says hi. Say uh, happy birthday to Alexa. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you bring me for? Hey, wait. What? Do I look like Ashley? Oh, Jesus. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, man, I can't do my face. Danny we, says, Danny says hi. I mean, Ashley twins. We're not twins. Yes. Farrell says hi. Hi. Ow, that hurts. Um, quesadillas. Quesadillas. Love nice. You. Love you too. I'm morning. Okay, have fun at work. Bye. She scared the shit out of me. I just saw movement. This is what I saw, okay? Hold on, let me see if I can reenact this. So this, this is like my peripheral, right? This, this webcam. So this is what I saw. <laughs> and I don't know why, but it just scared the shit out of me. Mm, can't do it. My heart was in my actual asshole. <laughs> Oh, shit. All right. I do think I'm going to call it now. Uh... Money don't jiggle, jiggle. It folds. I'd like to see you wiggle, wiggle. For sure. It makes me want to dribble, dribble. You know, ride it in my fear. You really have to see it. Oh, no. It was really friendly. It was really friendly, Alexa. Just, but just seeing, like, the waving box and then this when I wasn't expecting a, a people. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted to see what I was doing. Thank you, Rebel. Gracie, what are you playing with? Gracie's playing with something. <laughs> Boo. Alright, um, so yeah, I'm gonna go nurse this burn. And my Rudolph nose. And my less crispy arm. Wow, you can really dance. Wow, you can really dance. He went. He went. Um, but I will see you Sunday. Uh, it'll be same time as usual of a Thursday or Friday stream. So, 7 p.m. Jesus, that burp took a while to come out. Uh, and I will be playing the quarry. So, I will see you on Sunday. Don't forget Skuller Day. It's tomorrow. Uh, love you guys. Thank you for, thank you for hanging out and letting me just chat while I'm in pain. Um, yeah. I'm gonna hit the button now. But I, yes, I will see you Sunday. And I will hopefully have also the You Can Dandy. Or, like, a bunch of them? Is that what you're asking for? Like a stream of Here Come the Boys?
Drink water, you dehydrated bitch! It's not water, but, you know, good enough. Here comes the boy! Hello, boy! Welcome! Here he comes! There he is! Here comes the boy! Here comes the boy! Hello, boy! Welcome! tomorrow i'll see you again on sunday quarry have a wonderful rest of your day i love you guys bye